In the heart of Australia lie the Nutundara lands, a sacred place where the earth is red and traditional culture is ripe. It is the home of the animals. Hi, I'm Nara Wilson. Join me as I shop my way across the Nutundara lands and see what each community has in store. We'll meet some great people, share some stories and cook up a storm in our desert kitchen. Welcome to Walden. Walden is the largest town on the Nutundara lands and is the first community to be established during the 1930s. There's roughly 470 people living here, so let's go see if we can meet a few. Take out your map and look approximately a thousand k's southwest of Alice Springs. Somewhere between the Gibson Desert and the Great Victoria Desert, you'll find this place, Walkton. It's nice sometimes to take a break from eating lots of meat. So instead, we're going to make a healthy vegetarian alternative, lentil dal. And if you'd like to freshen up a bit, then why not head down to the community garden? Carl, can you tell me a bit about the garden? Well, uh, the garden here, uh, it sustains um, the workers here at the Warburton Arts Project. Um, we eat something from the garden nearly every day. Uh, we've had it going for just over a year. It's gradually adding bits and pieces over that time. And so if people uh, come up to you and ask, can they, you know, come into the garden and, you know, have some vegetables and is that okay? Is that allowed? It's, it's great if we have uh, a surplus we can give away. That's beautiful. Thanks, Carl. I might go into these veggies myself. That's my pleasure, Nara. <laughs> Spinach. I'm in the kitchen at the family centre here on Warburton, and I've got local Yaraji and her daughter Christine, and as well as Hannah, who is the nutritionist here on the lands. So today we're cooking lentil dal, and the ingredients are two onions, two capsicums, we've got sweet potato, olive oil, we've got the lentils, six cups of stock, we've got coconut meal, we've got ginger, garlic, oh sorry, and the spinach, and curry powder. I guess a good way um, of cutting an onion um, is just chopping off the, the top and bottom. And I usually make a little slice down there to help with peeling off the skin. So that comes away quite easily then. We're going to chop it in half and then I just cut um, across this way, small slices because we want it diced pretty fine for this lovely dal recipe and then flip it around and chop the other way. We've got two different amazing different coloured capsicum so do you want to cut it up into small pieces? Yaraji, when you made this meal, did you make the vegetables chunky or did you cut them down finely? I cut them down finely. Yeah. Yeah, to make it good for your little bubba. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Spinach next? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Shall we all do a bit? Yeah. You guys want to 
grab a little bit. Now I'll show you how I normally do it. I try and kind of bunch it all around in a big fistful and chop across finely. fry up the oil, the onion, garlic and ginger. I mean this really is a simple meal that anyone can make and it's so healthy for you as well. Yeah. And loads of different colours, the more colourful food is, the more nutrition generally and, and variety and, and it looks good that way as well. So it's good to tip the, um, the stock in quite quickly after you've added the lentils so that those lentils don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Yeah, and then you start to start the cooking process. So it's the coconut milk, sweet potato and capsicums now. Yeah, hand that to you guys. roughly 30 minutes and we've checked on it, seems to be doing good, so it's ready for the spinach. Do you want to put it in, Ergie? Yeah. Earlier we prepared some rice and we've served it out, it's all here to go. Uh, I just wanted to ask Hannah, is there any other foods that we can add to it um, to make it a little bit fresher? Or I'm sure. Uh, yeah, there's lots of opportunities for that, I guess. I, I think it would be really lovely with like a dollop of yogurt or a raita or tzatziki on top would be a nice addition or a fresh salad beside if you wanted something mm. fresh to go with something that's some cooked vegetables and rice like that. Um, some people might add a naan or something, but there's a lot of carbohydrate and good protein. That's a pretty complete meal, so it probably doesn't need those extra things, yeah. but a little bit of garnish, some fresh herbs or something would be really nice on it as well. Yeah. Yeah. As good as when you made it. <laughs> yeah.